Lima's story begins with its founding by Spanish conquistadors in 1535. They named it the City of Kings and initially believed that the area lacked significant indigenous presence. This belief was rooted in the Spaniards' observations that Lima did not seem to have the same dense indigenous population centers as found in the Andes. However, this assumption was quickly proven wrong. Lima was home to numerous sacred huacas or ancient sites, which indicated the presence of pre-Columbian civilizations. These huacas, along with other archaeological evidence, revealed that Lima had been a thriving area of indigenous habitation long before the Spanish arrived. Despite the rich indigenous history, modern Lima appears to have significantly less visible indigeneity compared to the Andes. Several factors contribute to this phenomenon. Firstly, Lima has historically aimed to distance itself from the Highlanders. This distancing likely began during the colonial era, when the city was established as the center of power and culture in Peru. The Spanish colonial administration prioritized the development of Lima as a European-style city, emphasizing Western norms and practices over indigenous traditions. Secondly, migration patterns had influenced the presentation of indigeneity in Lima. Many indigenous peoples from the highlands moved to Lima in search of economic opportunities, especially during the mid-20th century. While these migrants brought their cultures with them, the necessity to assimilate into an urban environment often led to the dilution of visible indigenous practices. Those unable or unwilling to assimilate were often marginalized and discriminated against. Today, engaging with indigenous culture in Lima is often curated for tourists and the upper class. The ancient culture that can be observed is frequently presented in structured formats such as paid performances, such as dancing at La Brisa's del Titicaca and museum tours at the Larco and the Loom. Well, these provide valuable insights and preserve important aspects of indigenous heritage. They also create a somewhat packaged and contrived version of indigeneity. Lima is renowned for its incredible Peruvian cuisine, which draws heavily on indigenous ingredients and culinary traditions. However, presentation in high-end restaurants often reflects Western dining norms. Multi-course meals in fancy settings are designed to appeal to affluent diners, both local and tourists, who seek a gourmet experience rather than an authentic representation of indigenous culinary practices. Cusco is renowned for its grand festivals, particularly Corpus Christi and Inti Raimi which serve as prime examples of how indigenous and colonial histories intermix. Corpus Christi is a significant Catholic celebration observed with fervor in Cusco. The festival showcases a remarkable theme of syncretism where indigenous traditions blend with Catholic rituals. During Corpus Christi, statues of saints and virgins are paraded from different churches to the Cathedral of Cusco. Indigenous communities actively participate, dressing in traditional attire and incorporating music and dance into the processions. The blend of Catholic and Indigenous elements creates a unique cultural expression that resonates deeply with both locals and visitors. In contrast, Inti Rami, the Festival of the Sun, was revived in 1944 as the central act in the city's celebration of Peru's indigenous inheritance. Primarily for cultural preservation and tourism, the festival, originally celebrated by the Inca to honor the sun god Inti, was suppressed in favor of Corpus Christi during the Spanish conquest. Its modern revival involves a grand theatrical performance at Sacsayhuaman. 
with actors reenacting the ancient rituals. While Inti Rami attracts a significant number of tourists, it also holds cultural importance for locals serving as a vibrant display of Incan heritage. While Corpus Christi is an active religious observance for Catholics, Inti Rami is more of a cultural reenactment and the city's main official civic production. Both festivals, however, offer valuable insights into Cusco's rich cultural heritage and provide platforms for both local and tourists to engage with indigenous traditions. Cusco is home to several sacred Incan sites, including Sacsayhuaman and Coricancha, which offer a window into the spiritual and architectural prowess of the Incan civilization. Sacsayhuaman, a massive fortress with intricately placed stones, plays a central role in Inti Rami celebrations. Tourists can explore the site through guided tours, learning about the, its historical significance and the ingenuity of Incan engineering. However, it's essential to acknowledge that these tours are curated experiences, shaped by historical reconstructions and interpretations. Kori Kencha, one of the richest temples of the Incan Empire, dedicated to the sun god, was transformed into the Church of Santo Domingo by the Spanish. This site epitomizes the fusion and conflict between the Inca and Spanish cultures. Visitors today can see the juxtaposition of Incan stonework and Spanish colonial architecture, offering a tangible narrative of Cusco's complex history. Cusco's food scene is another fascinating aspect where tradition meets modernity. Visitors can choose between high-end restaurants offering a fusion of Andean and international cuisines or opt for a more authentic experience at their local mercados. At upscale restaurants such as Chicha and Cusique, diners can enjoy gourmet interpretations of traditional dishes, often presented in a Western-style multi-course meal. These establishments cater to the tourists and locals looking for a sophisticated dining experience, showcasing the versatility and richness of Peruvian cuisine. The Sacred Valley is home to several small towns where the indigenous experience feels more authentic and less curated for tourists compared to other regions. In towns like Pizac and Oliantambo, the presentation of indigenous culture seems quite genuine. When visiting the ruins in Pizac, Oliantambo, and Moray, the tours were informal or self-guided. This means we were able to encounter these historical sites as they are, rather than through the lens of a structured tourist narrative. This informal approach allowed for a more personal and unmediated connection with the ancient Incan sites and provided a deeper appreciation for the historical and cultural significance. One of the most enriching ways to engage with indigeneity in the Sacred Valley is by spending time with local Campesino communities. For example, what, on our visit to the Amaru community, we learned about a typical day in the life of an Andean farmer. During this immersive experience, we learned about working the land, cooking food in the earth, and traditional weaving activities. This engagement provided us with a profound understanding of the skills, knowledge, and traditions that have been passed down through the generations. Another way to connect with Indigenous culture is by visiting local schools like Kusikause. Here, traditional cultural practices are prioritized, including the teaching of Quechua, traditional weaving, and land knowledge. These schools play a crucial role in preserving and promoting Indigenous heritage among the younger generation, ensuring that these traditions continue to thrive. While the small villages in the Sacred Valley offer authentic experiences, Machu Picchu stands out due to its status as a world wonder and a major tourist destination. 
The experience at Machu Picchu is more curated and structured compared to the informal settings of other Sacred Valley sites. Machu Picchu gained global recognition through various historical and cultural efforts, solidifying its status as an iconic symbol of Peru. Its discovery by Hiram Bingham in 1911 and subsequent promotion played a significant role in the bringing international attention to this ancient Inca citadel. While the tourist experience at Machu Picchu may not feel as authentic as in the smaller villages, its prominence has contributed to Peru's reputation as an indigenous cultural hub. The fame of Machu Picchu has had positive impact on the preservation of traditional cultural practices. By attracting millions of visitors each year, it has helped to maintain and promote Peru's rich indigenous heritage on a global scale. This international recognition has provided economic benefit that support local communities and fund initiatives aimed at preserving indigenous traditions and archeological sites. Yes. <laughs> 